Chapter 3 On account of this, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles, if indeed you have heard about the stewardship of God's grace given to me for you, according to revelation the mystery was made known to me, just as I wrote beforehand in brief, so that you may be able, when you read, to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which in other generations was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed to His holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are fellow heirs and fellow members of the body and fellow sharers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel, of which I became a servant according to the gift of God's grace given to me, according to the working of His power. To me, the least of all the saints, was given this grace, to proclaim the good news of the fathomless riches of Christ to the Gentiles, and to enlighten everyone as to what is the administration of the mystery hidden from the ages by God who created all things, in order that the many-sided wisdom of God might be made known now to the rulers and the authorities in the heavenly places through the church, according to the purpose of the ages which He carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access in confidence through faith in Him. Therefore I ask you not to be discouraged at my afflictions on behalf of you, which are your glory. On account of this, I bend my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that He may grant you, according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with power through His Spirit in the inner person, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, you having been firmly rooted and established in love, in order that you may be strong enough to grasp together with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, in order that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Now to the one who is able to do beyond all measure more than all that we ask or think, according to the power that is at work in us, to him be the glory in the church, and in Christ Jesus to all generations, for ever and ever. Amen.